Hello everybody, Tiny Toots here. Uh, today we're going to change the color of your hair. Now just use a photo that has a contrasting background so we can get all those nice fine hairs into a selection. So first step, we have to make the hair into another layer. So we have to select the hair. We'll do that with color range, but not all at once, but on parts. You select the uh, fuzziness about 20-30 points and you get all those fine hairs. You click on the light area around the head. After you click OK, after you are happy with the, the selected part, you go to selection tool right click on the selection and select layer via cut because that will um, cut the area that you selected with color range and paste it on a new layer and so you will see what um, uh, what portions of the hair you already selected by hiding the layers with previous selections in the layers panel and you do that until every bit of hair is on a new layer and not on the background layer so we will get this as well the darker parts we will use the lasso tool because they're not in connection with the background only here with the face not very important but let's make a pretty tight selection and okay just around here and we'll let some parts go because the hair must be see-through you know where it's getting real dark it means that the background is um, it's quite visible okay so that's it layer via cut again and now all the hair in just three minutes is on a new layer and with all the nice shades and whisks conserved we only have to delete the face because it's the same color we couldn't uh, uh, exclude it from this initial selection you get the eraser tool and then you make it go away make it a nice brush not not with a hard edge the soft edge and now just take it nice and close to the hair all the face must be erased because uh, if you don't erase it well color will change and you will have a painted face don't forget to go through all the layers and delete every little nuance pixel that you have on the face. And when you're done, we have a perfect separated hair. Well, not perfect, but I'll say good enough. Let's make it a little bit softer on the face. And uh, now I should have kept a copy of the original image, so I'll have to drag and drop the original image again. Now, I just dragged and dropped the original image, and I put it at the bottom, the layer with the original image, yes? And now I merge the layers with the uh, hair separated, and uh, use the color balance to change the color of the hair. So you can see... It's pretty good. Uh, you can't really tell the difference. There are some problems at the bottom of the hair there because we didn't get all the whisks. But with uh, the same procedure, you could very well do that. So that's it. Thank you very much and see you 